Just some quick FaceTime before I hand you over to the voiceover. I want to thank each and every single one of my super small online family who enjoy watching my videos. I have lots more projects coming in the future, uh, hopefully more than just the bullet journal. It's just time's been tight and bullet journal's been the one constant that I've had every month. So I'd like to do a lot more actual projects. If there is anything you'd like to see me do, feel free to leave it in the comments below, but there will be lots more projects coming. Yes, lots more. And now back to your regular program, which is me, just me, just stay tuned. You'll see it. Tired of saving your money the old fashioned way or just need a bright new way to store it? Now you can save your money in style with the super cute piggy bank. I present to you the Hamilton option. If you follow me on social media, you probably saw a few of the hint pictures that I had. Did you guess what it was? First, you will need a piggy bank. Then you will need a piece of elastic long enough to go around his belly. It doesn't matter what color it is, because all the tool is going to cover it. I wrapped the elastic around his belly and then pulled it tight a little bit. Then I used a pin to hold it and then I made sure that it was just stretched enough that it would stay on him. You don't want it to be too loose so that the tutu will just slide off. After pinning it, you want to sew the elastic together. I used my sewing machine, but you can totally use just a needle and thread. And remember to use a zigzag stitch if you're using the sewing machine. That way it's still stretchy. Then I started to lay out my tool. I folded each piece in half and I just used some pins to keep it straight because I didn't want it to go all wonky on me. And then I layered the next piece on top of that, same thing, folded in half and I removed the pins and put them in the new piece just to keep everything all nice and straight. And then I just layered every single color on top and kept moving the pins and repinning it. At first I didn't know how I wanted to cut it, I thought I was going to cut off the edges first so everything would be all perfect and even, and then I was like, well that's just going to take too long. So then I just decided I was going to cut two inch strips off of it. And at this point I wanted to make sure that it was really straight, so I made sure all the layers didn't have any folds in them, because once you start cutting and you have those folds in there, you're going to have some weird shapes if you cut through those folds. Then I cut the part that it was folded open, that way I had a nice straight edge to start with. Then I just laid my ruler on top and I used my rotary cutting tool to get the two inch strips. This actually made it really easy. I probably would have really hated this part if I had to use the scissors. But you can use scissors if you don't have a rotary tool, you may need to use some more pins just to keep everything in place. After cutting them, I separated them into the colored piles. Now the problem with tool is, it's very staticky and super clingy to itself. So this kind of was a little project for me, it was hard to keep things straight. After it was sticking to itself so bad, I decided to separate the piles a little further, that way they couldn't touch each other. There's me getting frustrated with it, just stay in that pile, it's all I wanted, just stay put, stop lying around. Now you want to take your piece of tool and fold it in half. I wanted my tutu to be a little shorter, so I folded that piece in half again. I scrunched it together to make this part easier. Then you want to take that loop and put it around the elastic and then grab the other side of the tool and pull it through the loop. Then you want to pull the ends tight. So once again, you want to take your piece of tool, fold it in half, then I kind of scrunched it and folded it in half again. Then you want to take that loop and wrap it around the elastic. Then you want to stick your fingers through the loop and grab the other side of the tool and pull it through the loop. I feel like this is really hard to explain, so I'm just going to show you up close. Wrapping these around the elastic became really hard just because the elastic wasn't anchored to anything. So I ended up putting the elastic around my leg and that actually made it a lot easier and faster to tie these things. You take your tool, you fold it in half then scrunch it and fold it in half again. Then you want to stick your fingers through the loop and wrap it around the elastic and grab the other end of the tool and pull it through the loop. I followed the rainbow order. The only color I didn't have was orange and I think it's because they didn't have orange at the time that I bought the tool. And there's your tutu. 
Now it'll fit around your piggy. If you have too much space or not enough space, you don't have to use as much tool or you just need to push your tool around until it is full. And no unicorn is complete without a horn. So I took a piece of paper and I rolled it into a cone. I held it up to the piggy and then I cut it a little shorter. And I kept repeating this until the horn was the size that I liked it. So you can make your horn as long or as short as you like. After I was happy with the size of the horn, I took the cone and I flattened it. Then I took a pencil and marked one of the flat sides. Since I'm going to need to make a pattern out of this for fabric, I'm going to need to trace this onto a flatter piece of paper. So I marked my edges and the bottom curve and also had to extend my lines up because the cone didn't really come to a point. And of course you will need to add some seam allowance for sewing. I also traced the bottom of the cone for the little circle shape. At first I thought I could make this just a giant stuffed horn that I would glue to his head which later on doesn't go this way. But we're gonna go with this for now because this is the mistake that I make. And because I had to extend the lines up to make the lines meet, I also had to shorten the horn so it would still be the same size that I wanted it. Then I took my gold material and pinned my pieces to it. Then I carefully cut it out. Sometimes I find it's easier to cut out multiple layers of fabric than it is just to cut out one single layer of fabric, especially this really thin material, but it really is shiny. So first I took my cone and I thought I was going to sew the edges together, but then there'd be no way I'd be able to turn it inside out, so I only sewed the bottom part and left the top part open. Then you want to take it with the shiny sides together and pin the bottom to the top. Once again, this whole step, just disregard it because I didn't end up using this, but we're going to go with it for now. Kind of looks like a weird hat. So then I carefully sewed that little bottom circle on to the cone, like very carefully. This was really hard. I kept having to lift and put down the sewing machine foot just so I wouldn't get any folds in it. But I guess this is a good tip. If you're sewing anything round, you can always lift and put down the foot to try and keep the creases out of it. So after that was sewed, I turned it inside out. And I really didn't like how bumpy it was. It's probably because it's such a small, tiny thing. I'm just gonna toss that to the side, start over. So I repinned it and recut it out, but just the cone shape, no circle this time. So for the horn, you're going to need a button, hot glue, and a bit of cotton. Once again, I folded the cone in half, shiny sides together, and pinned the edge. Then I sewed the whole thing, not just part of it, but the whole thing. And because I want the top to be really pointy, I cut off the excess amount of material at the top. But make sure that you leave enough space that you don't end up cutting the threads. Then turn it inside out. This was really hard because it got really pointy at the top so I just used a pair of scissors to help poke it out. Then you want to fill it with cotton. And once again use the scissors to help push it to the very top. Then just keep filling it until it's the firmness that you would like. So you want to leave a little bit of a gap then you want to put the button in the center and put a dot of hot glue and stick the side down. Then you want to do that to the other side. Just keep repeating this all the way around until all the edges are connected in the center. There you go, nice cone. Now you want to take some similar looking thread and thread it through the needle. Don't forget to tie a knot at the end. Then I inserted it at the very top so the knot would be hidden inside the gap. Then you carefully want to wrap the thread around and I decided to stitch it through where the sewing machine stitches are, that way it helps keep its shape so the thread doesn't move up and down. 
And then you just want to keep wrapping it around and stitching it through the seam until you get to the very bottom. Once you get to the bottom, tie a few knots and then cut it off. Then you just want to hot glue it onto the piggy bank, but you want to make sure that seam from the sewing machine is facing backwards. And then you just gotta dress them up and put on the tutu. But my tutu kept sliding off, and I didn't want the tutu to go over top of the money slot, I wanted it to go behind it. So to keep the tutu from sliding, I attached these two little pieces of Velcro. And ta-da, no more sliding. Isn't he beautiful? But of course, I couldn't leave it at that. This part is completely optional. I decided that he still looked a little too plain and that I had to add some shine to him. So I used my Cricut and I decided to print out his name and a bunch of stars to stick on him. I tried to pencil in a line under his tail so all my letters would be straight. And then I just stuck the stars all over, wherever I thought they looked good. Definitely adds a little bit of sparkle. I'm really glad I did this part. I've actually had this project written on my project to-do list for quite some time now, so I'm really glad that I finally got to make him. Now he's ready for his party. Hamilton will keep all your honeys safe. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Maybe you get to make your own. If you do, please tag me on Instagram at amazingandrea1, that's with underscores. I would really love to see your recreations, especially of this one, because it's super cool. And if you want to see any more of my videos, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything crafty that I make in the future. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Go Team Hamilton! What was I gonna say? My brain. Not working. I wait all day to film, and when I go to film, they decide to remove the snow outside.